Hey everybody, this is Ina from Miss Amber Crafts and um, I'm going to show you a pocket card that I made. Um, I really love this pocket card because this is actually a happy accident. I was about to make a crisscross pocket card and then I added um, this border strip here and I didn't like how it turned out with both um, diagonal pocket the arm so I cut one off and made it into a diagonal pocket card so anyway um, I made this card using magnolia stamp this is Chinese tilde that I colored with Copic markers and um, she was stamped using memento in tuxedo black um, and then I stickled her the edges of her dress here um, using stickles and then um, this paper pack is called Sakura Garden from Mindy Terasawa she sells at designerdigitals.com and um, I will give you the link below and then um, see this is a pocket card it goes out like this on the inside um, this is a stamp from Hero Arts it's a cling stamp I'll give you the name of the stamp later on down below and um, this is cut using Nestabilities labels one I think um, I love this paper pack it's so gorgeous it's so unfortunate that not a lot of um, digital kit has a um, Asian theme you know maybe Japanese Chinese um, I am I'm eyeing on um, one digital kit that I saw at Sweet Shop Designs. I think I might get it at the end of the week simply because um, I got this stamp and I just I really want to use her again and again um, and also I wanted to use um, the newest La La Land Crafts uh, stamp so I think I'm gonna get um, one more kit that has an Asian feel to it uh, moving on, um, the punch here is from Martha Stewart. I have got this um, a long time, but I just never use it because it was actually like too big for a card. But then, you know, it, this card is a six by six card, and I think it's a perfect um, measurement for a punch that is this deep and this big. The cardstock here, the thin cardstock here is iridescent. I've been hoarding on this because I can't find it anywhere else anymore. And then, um, oh, this stamp set is from Hero Arts. I just stamp it and I just hand cut this tail and then I just tuck it behind these flowers. These are I am roses flowers these are the s10 and then the roses um, but since I have limited colors for my flowers I layer it um, using purple prima flowers these are just the regular prima flowers and um, the stem here I just curled it yep and I am so in love with these dies. These are from Marianne Design. Um, I forgot the name. I will give you the name of the die down below. But they are just amazing. I just love them. It really works well with flowers. It enhances it. It's just it's very pretty. And this um, flower arrangement actually, um, you know, it. Um, I had it done for about like an hour I keep moving them around and I didn't really like it you know that's why I put the sentiment here because I don't like that it's just alone there I like to have a little bit of continuity continuing <laughs> oh my god I can't just say it I like a little bit of flow you know to the image I mean something that continues on that's why I put on the sentiment here and yeah that's it this is a really lovely pocket card it just fits very nicely like that yes. and I really love the glitter there as well um, I've been using this um, digital kit 
um, printing out the papers a couple of times and I think um, you'll be seeing more of this because I am not ready to put down down this stamp it's so cute all right thank you so much for watching everybody bye, -bye.